so here you go. <laughs> the new EL64 version of H1000. This is the master board communicating via 485 to slave 1, slave 2, slave 3. Each one of these boards has a little indicator showing that it's communicating, uh, answering poles back to the master. And on the master, it's continuously going because it's polling all three. The master also has three LEDs showing it's polling the individual devices. At the present time, the master has one reader. I present the reader a card. The data unlocks at the present time. This is the floors to be unlocked. Um, in the EL64 version for the tar sands, it'll be just one floor of these will unlock. The individual timers are um, correctly functioning, and I'm just finalizing the code for... Um, uh, I'll show you here, actually. Here, If I present this card, you see those relays all came on, and if I present this card, a bunch of relays flashed, and then you'll see these two relays remained on, and hopefully after the time, they go out. So that's the individual timers running with multiple floors unlocking. Um, and all you use connected is the power between each board and this. And we've decided that possibly it may not be necessary to connect the communications from, a, from the Hurricane software to the individual slave boards because these boards are being run in what we call the dumb mode. Uh, being that they will just execute the command that's coming in via the communications. <clears throat> so there should be no uh, reason to reflash the boards if it can execute the command correctly. So that'll simplify the wiring even more. And that's it for now. So there you go. Uh, you know, another uh, incredible, amazing uh, development from uh, the, the CANSEC team. Anyways, uh, take care. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>